In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to fix Rainbow Six Siege not launching. It's a very quick and easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I want to present multiple methods that you can use to make sure that your Rainbow Six Siege installation is working as intended and that you are going to be able to run the game without any issues. If you are trying to launch the game from Steam, for example, and it doesn't boot up, some of the things that you can try to do include First, go into your library, find Rainbow Six Siege, right click it and go into the properties. And under installed files, you will find verify this game's files are installed correctly. So all you have to do here is click verify integrity of game files. Now agree to the Steam pop-up and you will be able to completely reinstall BattleEye and Rainbow Six Siege if it detects that any files are corrupted. You don't need to do this process if it doesn't find any corrupted files, but if it does, you will have to install the files that are missing. So as you can see, Steam is going to validate the game. And because I'm clearly running the game right now, it doesn't ask me to reinstall it. But if the installation is corrupted on your computer, you will have to download additional files here. Once you are done, try running the game again from your library and see if it works. If it still doesn't work, I'm going to proceed to other methods that you can use. One of the simplest ones is to make sure that the drivers for your GPU are up to date. You can do this process if you have an AMD GPU like me through the AMD software. Just use the driver and software check for updates function on the home screen. Or alternatively, if you are using an NVIDIA graphics card, open GeForce Experience and you will be able to find automatic updates from there. Alternatively, you can do it manually by visiting either the AMD or NVIDIA website and inputting your graphics card. With this out of the way, there are still other options that you can try to fix Rainbow Six Siege. One of them is to open the Windows firewall and make sure that Rainbow Six Siege and possibly its anti-cheat have private and public access to your network. Since the anti-cheat needs to be running on the background and Rainbow Six Siege also needs access to your computer, make sure that these settings, private and public, are allowed and that Rainbow Six Siege is allowed to go through the Windows Defender firewall. With all of this out of the way, one last thing that you can try to fix any issues that you might be having with Rainbow Six Siege is to go over to the installed apps on your computer and uninstall either Rainbow Six Siege completely or the Ubisoft Connect launcher. By reinstalling the launcher and consequently Rainbow Six Siege, you are going to be performing a clean installation of the game. So even after you verify the integrity of the game files, after right clicking on Steam, if it still doesn't solve the issue, you can manually do a clean installation to double check if all files were acquired properly. With everything out of the way, with Windows Defender Firewall allowing the game to go through and by having the latest version of Ubisoft Connect, you will be able to access Rainbow Six Siege with your account and start playing right away without any issues. While there are other methods that you can use, usually these ones will be enough to fix your issue and in this video, these are all that I'm gonna be demonstrating. I hope I was able to help you on how to fix Rainbow Six Siege not launching. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more quick and easy tips. Thank you for watching.